Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I just woke up to go to the bathroom. It's like almost one in the morning and Joey's not in bed because he is outside still with the pickaxe. Still okay, great, the lights are flickering now. Yes, he's digging trenches um, still at like one in the morning with the flashlight. Soaked. You're kidding me! Joey, are you okay with taking out this basketball court? <laughs> Get excited for today's video because we have so much going on here at our house. We have some destruction, demolition to do, and also some decoration. This would be the most treacherous basketball court to play on ever. So this will be a great place for like outdoor beds, for a garden, and I think a play structure too here by the tree. Great, right? let's do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, jackhammer! I'm gonna leave this jackhammer job to Joey because it's really heavy. I mean, I could do it because I'm really strong, <laughs> girl power, but I don't want to shake up my brain. We'll leave that to Joey. <laughs> Ready, set, Baka! like a traditional jackhammer. It's handheld, you can rent them at your hardware store. They're not as loud, which is great. Moon and Mom are gonna go do other stuff while I get this all broken up. So let's shake it up and break it up. Moon has grown up around tools and hammers. He's actually very aware of what is dangerous and what not to touch, so I'm happy that he is just supervising Mama, pull out the rusty pipes, and bossing me around. That's what he always does anyways. This chain link fence is so gross. We have it all over this property. It's out of here and I'm trying my hardest to tear it out. It's really in there. This Time to get rid of the uh, death trap. The condemned part of our house. <laughs> we are tearing down this pergola for so many reasons. It has the most termite damage I've ever seen. The wood is literally crumbling. We haven't been letting Moon play under here for obvious reasons. We avoid walking under here because this thing is about to fall over, so. Yeah, so basically we're getting rid of this whole breezeway. Yeah, this whole pergola, which is honestly just like the weirdest Thing ever anyways. We just are totally gonna reorient the entrance to this house when we renovate, so yes. Goodbye, safety and ugly. All right, you get moon. Safety hazard and Keep ugliness. Away. Okay. Say that. Do you want to sit with your chalk and have a snack? Come on. 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 Come treacherous yeah. <laughs> without the pergola. I mean, the view is so good of the ocean. It's perfect. Million dollar view. Except. That. Powerful. Oh. <laughs> this is like smack dab in the middle. 
Can we get rid of that? Can we? Like, it has to go. How do we do that? I know how to rewire, like, a, a ceiling fan. I'm not sure I know how to rewire an electrical pole. I think this is out of your capabilities. No offense. What? <laughs> <gasps> Hallway artwork time. Do we like you are. this one? This one? I mean, we have so many options. So, oh, you <laughs> We should put that in here. You guys, this is such a big moment because we're making a giant gallery wall in our hallway with artwork from our upcoming Mr. Kate wall art line. Yes, so this is our wall art line. Obviously, it's like painted stuff, I like framed the stuff. One right there. You like that banana one? like that banana one? And the cool thing is they're gonna all come basically exactly as you see them, framed and everything with the hardware on already. It's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> this line of Mr. Kate artwork we've been working on so hard behind the scenes. It's a mix of photography, sketch, paintings, 3D art. They all come framed and ready to go on your wall. So you can check the link in the description to sign up if you wanna get notified when it's officially out. And yeah, I'm just so excited. We're interacting with the pieces for the first time and it's gonna look so fun against the yellow. And I love this one. Incorporates all of our colors from our rainbow color palette. Look at that. Three with the dimensional faux leather. faux leather, nice wood frame. What is that? Uh oh. National Weather Service, a flash Sorry. flood warning is in effect in this area until 1.15 a.m. This is a dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. Wait, let me see. Is that like for- That's kind of scary. I keep getting all these alerts on my phone telling me like there's like a crazy storm coming. It's gonna be like our first crazy storm on a tropical island, which I don't know how that's gonna go. Obviously it's gonna, test the tires on this house a little bit. I know we're not in a flood zone because I did all that research when we bought the house and I know that uh, we're on a hill with a natural drainage gulch right next to us, so we should be good. Well, we knew it was This seems like rain, a very aggressive that's... emergency alert. I mean, it's not even cloudy out right now. I mean, I guess there's some storm clouds, but not much. Good that we have this rain pond now because we can really see when we go to do our full demo how much drain is we need to be putting in here. Can you please just show what I look like right now? <laughs> this is what the photographer <laughs> So it rains pretty much daily here on the island. Like it'll sprinkle and that's why it's so green and lush and beautiful. We love the rain in bursts. What's crazy is that the water level has almost reached our sewer. Uh, clean out? Clean out? Like almost wonder if we open the clean out of it, it'll just go down through the sewer. Or is it gonna just back up and then we're gonna have sewage all over our backyard? I don't know about this plan. Can we Google this first? Can we please Google this first? Oh no. Why do all our renovations turn into swimming pools? This is 100% the most rain I've ever seen in my life. Welcome to island living, I guess. This carpeting is completely damp in here. Oh my gosh, all the way to here. Our entire floor is moist and this part is completely raised up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh no, this whole garage is flooded, oh no. Wait, oh my gosh, Joey, your drums. Shoot, oh no, my rug, my vintage rug. Oh, it's soaked. Oh gosh, that plug is in water. 
Get off the water. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's plugged into the washer dryer and it's on. And it's not fucking grounded. Are you kidding me? This is so bad. Get the wrench out of your hand. Ah! Just unplug it, just unplug it right there. Just unplug it, I don't know. Okay, it's, it's not on anymore. But we should just, let's just turn all this off, right? Our house is flooding. That's scary. Yeah. This rain is starting to flood. We're on a hill, but the drainage in the backyard, uh, like they just didn't really, I guess, factor that in when they were grading this lot, or I don't know what's happening, but it's making me nervous. Wow, look at all that water. Oh my gosh. That is the most full I have ever seen our pool. Is it gonna overflow? Ah! Joey's been digging trenches in the yard. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what happened? All right, update. We've trenched property so that the water goes away from our house. I don't know why this didn't exist already. Maybe it did, maybe it just got covered through the years, but it's gonna go this way, down into the gulch. And the water's feeding down into the running water. Update, it is uh, like 11 o'clock and it's still downpouring. I'm still dealing with flooding. We're now in the, uh, the garage. Um, it's definitely raining, still. I don't know, what's up, are you stressed? What's happening? I mean, I don't know. It's been raining for three days. It's flooded. I don't understand how our house is flooded. It's on a freaking hill. What did we do? What did we do or what did we do? Or both? <laughs> both. That's honestly how I'm feeling right now.